This is the equivalent of Madden NFL 12, NCAA Football 11. Tim Tebow on the cover. The last official NCAA game solely, or not solely, now, But last one on the PlayStation 2. Who are we going to go with? It's like Hawaii, but an even worse situation. This program... Don't look at the four stars. This program is a one-star program. Who's going to be the head coach? Is it someone that I know that might be a fan of the Mean Green? What is this Mean Green fight machine going to do? Is it going to uh, it's going to break down the assembly line? Or are we going to find ourselves an eventual dynasty in four or five years, four or five seasons? What can we do with this team? What at all? I'm trying to decide what to do here. How should I do this guy's last name? I'm not going to put his name out on the internet. Would I? Would I do that? Would I do that? I don't know. We'll have to see. No, we're just going to put it. It's just the D. Just the tip, but just the D for the just the tip. Mr. Chandler D going to be your new head coach for the mean green. North Texas green right here. This team this is like two years removed. Quarterback for this team that uh, broke the record for most passing touchdowns in the first half actually was... Uh, quarterback who used to go to my high school in San Antonio, and he, uh, his name was Giovanni Visa. That is a sick ass name. Just you know, just and his brother's name was Lucci. So Luciano. I mean, think of those sick ass names and tell me you're not going to have the best suave personality and performance and be a state quarterback winning. And not only that, this man beat Robert Griffin in the state final. Robert Griffin went to Copper's Cove. Copper's Cove, a sick athletic team just north of Austin around the clean area. Robert Griffin, that, I mean, that's that's where the legend starts, folks. And, uh, well, we know eventually what happened to the legend of Robert Griffin. It eventually ended in a sour way, just not too good. That's what happens when ego and arrogance hit you, folks. Even if you have all the talent in the world, insert Booger McFarland rant. I can't even pronounce his name right. I might rant about that. Anyways, but we're looking forward to this dynasty. A team that's in the Sun Belt at this point. You got Troy. um, You got uh, Louisiana Lafayette. I'm pretty sure you have Louisiana Tech in there. Louisiana Monroe. So a lot of shit teams. A lot of shit teams. But what's more shit? We're going to see just how well-rated these stars are. The star halfback for this team is 84 overall. He's the impact player. He's got like 85 speed. Backup has 90. Do we use the backup on third downs? I don't know. I don't know. Again, impact player, I mean, his speed can't be that terrible. Uh, Think about it. I mean, that kind of speed, that's like Javorski Lane, except Javorski Lane was like 90 overall in the NCAA football games. But playing right here, if you forget or not played any of the uh, NCAA games past 07, it's officially at that point, starting with 08, Thought that was a nice pass, but no awareness whatsoever. Again, this is going to be a shit team to start off the dynasty and most likely for the next two seasons. Drop pass. He was thrown to wide open wide receiver on that one. But um, trying to get back to my point with these two teams. Well, two teams. Well, these two practice squads, basically. Incomplete pass. Shit show. But this quarterback, you're going to see the ratings on these guys. This is a team that you're going to have to build up. But yeah, this is the first game, uh, or, sorry, NCAA 08 was the first game to where you could have training camp before the season, but it's not nearly the improvements that you can make. Well, it might actually be the equivalent, if not more, um, because NCAA football compared to Madden, even if you had a guy with 40 awareness in Madden, It doesn't go up by two or three overall points or even four. I think if it's like you have an attribute that's 40, it's going to increase to like 44, 48, 52, and then it goes up by threes and shit. Um, Once you get to 60, maybe. I don't don't know exactly. But right here, my fucking HD converter to help with the sound for these videos goes out. But the last play is a touchdown, which is going to help boost the attribute boost and the improvement by our not-so-star quarterback, 78 Overall throw power, as you can see, it goes up by two instead of one. So, And I did find out that the total number of bonus points in these drills can go up to all the way up to five. So you could have the potential of adding, you know, if you want to improve some really shit. I mean, you're, and you're going to have some absolute dog shit freshmen that come into a team like this, a one-star team. You're gonna, we have a couple 40 in the 40s overall guys, a, a definitely several guys that are 50 overall. 
um, as freshmen, true freshmen, do we have a couple of guys that I'm going to try to prove in other positions, like a couple DNs, D tackles that are freshmen that are like 68 overall? I mean, that's that's stellar. I mean, that's like a that's like a bottom end three star recruit type of guy you want to build a, a dynasty around to boost up your you know your team, get your team into you know a top 25 position with that type of player. Um, even though. Uh, Getting the shit stomped out of us to start off this drill with the star. Put star around that impact player. Running back. Nice run right there on the outside. But trying to prove this guy as well as possible. He's only a junior, so I don't think any performance that could take place, especially how bad this team's going to be. I don't expect him to have the statistics to head into a possible spot to be put in the NFL draft. I don't think he would want to get uh, drafted in the seventh round. You might as well stick with the mean green. See what you can do with the mean green machine as a senior and maybe we'll get this guy catapulted into like 88 90 overall depending on his performance for the season this season nice uh well nice no juke move on that one but i'm looking forward to it um one thing i did notice that this quarterback's limited we do have a freshman quarterback who's like 65 overall but he is 82 speed, so we do have a dual threat sitting behind here. I think this quarterback's a junior, so if we do improve the other guy, I will start him over anybody.